Stop the count. In all seriousness, though, Broncos country, the Denver Broncos, if the season were to end today, would finish with the fifth seed in the AFC with a 5-3 and three record. They would face the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road in the wild card round, the Russell Wilson revenge game. It would be a highly anticipated matchup, but obviously the season does not end today. The Denver Broncos have the toughest stretch of their schedule coming up, and it all starts this coming week as they go on the road to take on the Baltimore Ravens. And then the following week, they have to go into Kansas City, into the red pit of hell, Arrowhead Stadium, and they've got to slay the dragon. The Baltimore Ravens, looking at the standings, they are actually behind the Broncos right now. They have the sixth seed with the same 5-3 and three record, but the Broncos... They've got some other tiebreakers here that put them ahead of the ahead of the Ravens in the standings. However, Denver on paper is a far inferior team to the Baltimore Ravens, and they're also an inferior team to the Kansas City Chiefs. Last season, it was one year ago, October 29th, 2023, the Denver Broncos picked up an upset victory at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. And the following game, they had their bye week. Then the following game, they went on the road to Buffalo and upset the Bills. This could be an opportunity for the Denver Broncos to pull off a similar feat against Kansas City once again and on the road against Baltimore. Baltimore is a team that has shown some vulnerability this year. They started off the season 0-2, losing to Kansas City, losing to a bad Raiders team, and then they lost to the Cleveland Browns today. We'll have to see if this Baltimore Ravens team can actually put together a consistent game against Denver. If not, then Denver's got an opportunity to, cut, to pounce and maybe potentially get an upset here. Then, when you look at this Kansas City Chiefs team, They've shown some signs of vulnerability as well, despite being 7-0, and and the Broncos have already shown that they can beat the Chiefs after what they did to them last year. The Broncos know that they have a chance here to possibly be the first team to beat the Kansas City Chiefs this season. That would be huge for their confidence, and it would be huge if during this road stretch they could pick up a victory. Then, after that, they come back home and they face off against the Atlanta Falcons, another team that's in pole position to make the playoffs. They lead their division right now. They're playing some really good football. That's a tough matchup. They've got the Raiders after that. They've got the Browns, who might be a rejuvenated team now with Jameis Winston at the helm. You've got the Colts. You've got the Bengals. You've got the Chiefs. You've got the Chargers mixed in there as well. Those are opponents that... The Denver Broncos could have struggles with down the line. The Broncos are going to have to play some of their best football as we get closer to these games, and it's all going to start this week. They're going to have to run the football better than they did this week against the Carolina Panthers. Javante Williams did not play well. Bo Nix was awesome. That was awesome to see, but it was against the Carolina Panthers. Let's see if he can replicate that success against the Chiefs or the Ravens, who both have really good defenses. This is going to be a big test for the Broncos. The play playtime's over, Broncos country. Playtime is over. It is time to see what this Broncos team is really made of, and it's all going to start this week in Baltimore.